Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and today we're making this little hinged envelope. So it goes on your page like so. So you hinge it to the following page, and then you can just flip it open like that. And then, of course, it's a little pocket and it has a tab. It's very fragile paper. Uh, I do recommend that you maybe double layer any really fragile paper that you have to just reinforce it. So again, we're gonna do the same thing where we I do a little example one and then uh, I'm gonna do a mass making after that. This is really old paper. Either, it's either part of my 1860s batch or my early 1900s batch, but I think it's the 1860s. And surprisingly, High quality paper. I am gonna need some scrap. So yeah, I'm just gonna tear off a little piece. This one, I just wrapped it around over itself and used the washi tape. This one I'm doing differently. I'm probably gonna do them all differently, but this is one way to do it. So we'll just take it to a boat. Here. First thing I'm going to do, oh, look at that. It's like perfectly, maybe we'll have Napoleon sticking out. How about that? <laughs> We're not going to see all of them, but most of them. So we'll just give it a little bit there. And we'll go like this just enough like that and then we're gonna fold it over this way and glue that down and then you can see our pocket is totally shut without having to do any crazy nonsense just that easy easy peasy so I'll just fold this over and then I'll go ahead and trim it. And then we didn't lose any of our nice writing on the other side. Because we're going to need that because we're going to cover up some of our <laughs> writing in the middle. So I don't like, the reason I came up with this is because I really don't like futzing with these bottom flaps. And so I just decided I'm going to make sealing this up part of the design. I have some little scraps. I just kind of picked some that were a little more colorful, I guess. And I could go red. That one's a good option. This one, that's an option. Oh, that's kind of nice too. I'd have to tear it a little bit off of this part. That one's not white enough. Already I have good choices, so I'm just going to put all these back. I think I'm kind of hooked on the, doing this. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to ink it too. We're doing grungy today too. I know my I did an, a notebooks one similar to this. And now we're going grungy style. So just enough to kind of see that. I'm just going to trim this to be the right size right now so I don't have to worry about it too much. Oh, you can see it all from this end. You can always trim it better, but this helps with the gluing for me anyway. All right. Take that piece, stick it right on there, and then we can kind of trim this up. Trim, trim. Got a little, needs a little more glue right there. 
Okay. Now we need a hinge, a little hinge flap like this one over here. This is actually kind of a fun piece of paper for that. Maybe we'll do this one. I don't know. I think I need something more, more neutral. Do I have anything neutral? Like this? Do I need it to be two-sided? I don't think I do. I don't think that matters. And the green matches that. We're good to go. So I just fold it in half, kind of like a gusset, but we're not we're not uh, tapering the ends or anything like that. So we'll tear this end, and then I just like doing it just a shorter, you know, basically a little shorter than what you what you actually need. You you can give this edge a little something something you feel really inspired to do that like I do at this moment <laughs> for some reason so that's what I did we'll give it a little ink and once you glue this over you're not going to be able to see the inside of this which way am I going I'm going this side oh my goodness that was a close one almost glued the wrong part I think these are so cute okay which way is up this way's up, so this is the side that I need my hinge on. I just kind of like it when I just take the edge of my hinge and it's just a little bit beyond that edge. I'm not very good at it, but I don't know. I think that way when it sits on the paper, on the edge of the paper, it just sits out there a little, a little nicer. For some reason, I like that better. I'm gonna punch Punch a hole in here. There we go. On that, oh, we can pick a hinge or a, a tab. Just so you know, I do have the whale tails for sale in my shop. I think I want more neutral ones, though. So maybe like this. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Let's do that. And they, they're small ones and big ones, so. Oh, I did it too low. Oh, it's fine. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't bad. Okay, so, so far we've got that. We could do a little, a little light, grungy bit. And then we get the next fun part, which is we get to pick one of these clusters. I'm gonna go from this one. See if I've got anything that would be kind of, that's actually nice, not the right shape. I think I want tall and narrow. Oh, that's cute, but no, too much. Ooh, I like it. Hmm, here maybe. I like this one too. Okay, what if I take off some of this? I'm always like, I don't want to lose, I don't want to miss some of the rows and I want to be able to see everything. <laughs> I don't know. This one looked better, didn't it? Yeah, we'll keep trying. I can still see some of that. Oh, I like that one. That's super cute. What? You said you need me to tear off a bunch of the bottom again? <laughs> oh my goodness. I do like that. I think I'm going to be stuck on it. Looks good. And I'm going to have it stick out a little bit, which is fine for the design of it. My goodness. I know I want to cover that up, but it's a perfectly good hinge. And when you put it on the paper, it'll be like this. Like so. And then it'll flip back that way. And you will still be able to see that. So 
Okay. <laughs> Covering it up. You're probably like, hey, Kelly. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but you can still see it. We should put another cluster on there. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. So many scraps. And then we'll just go like that. It seems like such a random piece, but <laughs> it was torn very strategically. There we go. And that goes like so. That's much better. Do we need something there? Maybe. What else do I have? Something really skinny. How many piles can I look at at once? <laughs> Go back to this guy. Yeah. You get to be on there after all. That's not the same bird, is it? No, oh, okay. Saved. We're saved. And this needs to stick up there. Now we'll do our test. Are these cute? That's super cute. And then we flip it over. And then it looks like that on the other side. Very good. Okay, Ooh, that's, that's cute. All right, so now we have two of these hinged coin envelopes, maybe you would call them. I don't know. They're just little hinged envelopes, ready-made. And so uh, I hope you'll join me for the next part, which is where I mass make a bunch of these so you can come along and craft with me if you would like. I just wanted to mention too in my Etsy shop right now, I have these mystery packs for sale. This is like 50 items and lots of goodies. Here's a sneak peek. Ooh. So the next like eight I think I have packed are almost identical to this. Not, not totally identical. Some things are original, but most are things that I had a bunch of and you know, so you get some goodies in there. A little sneak peek. Ooh. That's a fun little image. So you just never know. You never know what you're going to get in there because it's a mystery. All right, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description. And I think we should get started on mass making these. And the trick is, how many are we going to be able to, to make? I think we can do a lot of these. And I've got lots of different papers to try. So the first thing we're going to do is just fold these up and figure out how... I mean, you can do different sizes based on the size of your book page. So I like that. So this is the side I want. Oh, I kind of like this one. And then I can always just do a little fold over or I can do a gusset inside. And that is really not straight. So what we're going to do is fold this in like so. And then just glue it down on this part. Mm -hmm. Just make it as easy as possible. You can fold these over so this could be on the outside if your cutting was maybe a little better than mine was that time. Yep. Okay, so we have one, one done, folded up. Here's one I was kind of interested to use. This red is kind of interesting. Really interesting. So should I do a little fold over? I'm going to use my ruler this time. It's going to be great. We could even make one wider. Good. All right. There's that. Save these little scraps for our hinges and so forth. I like that spears part. So maybe we'll do the same thing again. That worked out kind of good. All right. How wide do we want this? How about this wide? This red is cool looking. It's kind of cool. So 
How's that? A little bit more. There we go. Are you straight? Can you, are you straight? Straight, straight, straight. Close enough. Close enough. All right, what's new in the world? There was a snowstorm today. Yes, it's like the end of March and we had a snowstorm. So that was kind of sad. <laughs> yes, it was. All right, I, I want this. These, this works out a lot better if this edge is straight. So I'm, I'm doing that. Okay, I can get rid of that. Oh, this didn't go quite so straight at the end. So let's just fix that up in the garbage with you. All right, another one done. Could do that edge like so. I'm supposed to be doubling these up if they're if they're uh, weak paper, but am I? No, no, I'm not. Well, it's so hard to choose. What can I, how can I tell a piece of paper? Oh, you're you're getting demoted to the inside. No one's ever going to see you. I mean, that's sad for a piece of paper. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm kidding. I'm mostly kidding. I have I do kind of like do that thing where I'm like, oh, but this is such a special piece of paper. We're just going to have to reinforce it with other stuff, right? Right. <laughs> Oh, fine, I'll reinforce it. Okay, little piece of paper. What do you got? This one. This would be fine. Could put something right across here. How's that? That will work. Can be just slightly smaller than what we need. Smaller is better than bigger. That's what I've just decided. Okay. Oh, yeah, this, it's snowing. It's crazy, crazy town around here. Complete whiteout snowstorm. But I tell you what, it is kind of nice for the dogs because it does mean that we can just open the door and say, go outside, go to the bathroom. And they don't run away. They 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 can be unsupervised, and they just stay right in the yard, close, and say, "It's too cold. I gotta hurry up and do my business." Yeah, works out. What it works out quite nicely. Oh, that that reinforced it quite well. Very good. Whoop! Getting a little glue ha glue happy. A little glue happy. Here we go. All right, do I have a story? Oh, I do have a story. <laughs> this is a good one too. So, <laughs> I was, I take my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law for errands and I was, we just started out on our errand for the morning. Had about a couple hours worth of errands to do. And I was driving, doo, 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 doo. and then I see there's a police officer in the other lane. Is that all I do? Yes. Okay. And, you know, so I, of course, look at my speedometer. I was going seven over, and I thought, hmm, it's, it's possible I could get pulled over for seven, seven over, but not likely, especially when you break right away. You're just like, hey... How do I want this? I could do it like that and a little bit of this, but it, it's too tall. So, okay, just to like there and about to here is what I need, I think. I love this blue with the, with the yellowing. Oops. So at any rate, I, I go past them. Of course, I'm keeping my eye on them, you know, in my rear view mirror. Sure enough, 
he does a Yui and starts following me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. And I was like, I told my mother, and I said, just so you know, I think I'm going to get pulled over. And she's like, well, what were you going? And I said, I was going seven over. And she said, well, I don't. She goes, ah, he won't pull you over for that. I said, I don't know. And then the lights went on. <laughs> I was like, oh, that, fold, that wants to fold very nicely there. I think I'm just going to do that. I want it on this side or that? Yeah, yeah, that side. This is pretty. Am I supposed to reinforce it? Mm -hmm. I, I have the other half of that one paper. So if I did here to here, that would be probably just enough. So, yeah, he pulls me over and I'm like, oh, dang it. <laughs> I don't want to get pulled over when I'm, like, driving somebody else's car. <laughs> you know, it's not ideal. So, so anyway, the cop says, you know, he gets up there and he goes, did you realize that your car is, ex your registration has expired? And I was like, what? <laughs> I look over at my mother-in-law and she's just like, <gasps> Her car registration had lapsed and she's like she says I said oh it's 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 my mother-in-law's car you know we got all that straightened out with him he's like well what's going on you know I said no no I'm just taking that for errands and and he's like and she goes I I did it online and he said you tried to do it online and she goes I did try to do it online <laughs> apparently it didn't work so <laughs> was, he was like so then she kind of launches into a little defense thing and <laughs> he's like he's like you don't have to get upset you know I'm just gonna send you off with a warning I just want you to know and get it taken care of and I'm gonna have to write you a written warning because you know and <laughs> oh, oh my gosh oh not, not the right step I keep wanting to jump ahead. Don't jump ahead. Oh, this one looks cool too. I'm gonna have to back up, back up, back up that one. I'm gonna reinforce it. I really like this. Looks like I'm gonna lose some something, aren't I? Yeah, you are. We'll just go with it. Um, I'm gonna go here, and that way when I bring up my, this pretty thick paper. Okay, we need a little bit of a reinforcement scrap. And this is one of our scrap pieces. We could probably use that. Why do you want to use this one? I don't know. I just, I want to keep this little piece right here because it's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> I'll save that for later. All right. Got a little hinge. Oh, oh this is this is more like a gusset, not a hinge. Gotta keep your terms straight. And I don't want it quite that quite that close to the edge. Nope. Nope, I don't. And I have to remember how I want to do this. Because if I do it, like, can I even do that now? Like this, I go over the top. Or I do it like this, this is what I want. Oh, got me for a second there. What are you, what are you trying to do? Trying to be confused. Well, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you do that. <laughs> so, yeah, he's he's like, oh, I'll just get you a warning or whatever. And he goes back to his car. And every, and then all of a sudden, uh, Ginny starts launching into stories about how I've never gotten a ticket. Well, except that one time. <laughs> she was really young, though. That doesn't count. And I was like, 
I don't know. I was just like, I'm a little uncomfortable, like, in case he comes back. <laughs> and then Amy's in the back. She's like, he's really cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, baby. <laughs> she cracks me up. <laughs> okay, got that one. How many is that? Oh, what time are we? Oh, oh my gosh, that wasn't long at all. That didn't take any time to do that part. Okay, that's like five. We can do, we'll do one more fold up. Did I do the typewriter one yet? Yeah, yeah I did. That's really tall. I'm thinking... I'm probably not going to leave that that tall. Oh, I know. I wanted to do one of these. I thought that might be cute. I could do it this way. Like that one. This one's going to look a little bit more modern for a minute. But that's okay. I wanted to just try it. Sometimes you just have to try things. I don't know. I kind of like it like that. I'm going to glue it. I'm just going to glue it down like that. Try and stop me. So then he comes back and he's just like, he's like, well, you said you were running errands. You should probably just uh, go to the DMV. And I said, we were, we already planned on it. <laughs> And of course, he's just like, I did it online. <laughs> it just didn't work. <laughs> so yeah, stinking computers. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, let's do it. We're, we're to the next phase. Okay, we got all of our, our papers done. We're going to need some papers for hinges. Are any of these going to work? This typewriter paper will work. And this paper will work. And that should probably be enough. Probably. Probably maybe. Or do I need prettier hinges? I might. I might need a prettier hinge. Ooh, look at how fun that is. We're gonna have to save that. Hold on. So that was exciting. And then we went to the DMV and then. It wasn't busy at all. It was nice. The it was spring break in that town for the for the you know K through twelve, and they really weren't. the The DMV wasn't busy, but man, the uh, Walmart was so busy. I had this guy pulled out of the spot, and okay, do I want to do the hinges first? No, I don't. I want to do the bottom wrap before I do the hinge. Yes, that is correct. Okay. So, we find a piece that will go with this, hopefully. Green. I like the succulents and the green together for some reason. I'm gonna try some different greens. I've got that green, this green, I'm surprised I didn't like that one, but I didn't. Oh, I tried that. I like this one. Turns out it's very, very grungy piece of paper. <laughs> so, yeah, we were there, and Amy says, I need a new driver's license ID. Not a driver's license. She doesn't have a driver's license, but she has a, a photo ID. And uh, so that we got that all. I did that way. Ginny did her. My mother in law did her. And then she's like, Well, I am here and I need new license plates. So they did like, they had like a bad batch of, of uh, license plates in Wisconsin where they. They got some cheap paint and it all came off within a couple of months. So they gave you an opportunity, apparently, to like where they would pay for it. But you had to do it within a certain amount of time. And she missed the deadline. So that 
was a bummer. And then she had to pay an extra $13. So, who knows what you're going to do. Oh, and they got their second kitten. They thought it was going to be a ragdoll uh, kitten, but it ended up being a ragamuffin kitten, which is similar to a ragdoll. So, so now they have two kittens. One is like seven months old, and then the other one is, I don't know, fresh, four or five months, something like that. And he is something. <laughs> He's a terror. He gets the zoomies. Not really a terror. He just gets the zoomies. I think we'll just do all the bottoms. I don't want this one quite so tall, though. I'm going to take off all of this, I think. Oh, look. That could be like a little uh, band for one of these. It's perfect. <laughs> I'll just keep that. What? You like to save stuff? I know you're surprised. You are shocked. Hmm. I need for these to be straight. Hopefully I didn't just cut off too much. We're going to find out. Nope. Perfectly good. And I really don't want it to be... They all go left to right downhill. I guess that's what I do. If you, you, you should make some ones that hinge the other way too. That's what I should do as well. I have a tendency to do that. They all go in the same direction. No. So remind me when we get to that point. <laughs> Much appreciated. Yeah, Walmart was crazy. There was a there was a guy and he he was. He tried to yell at me because, and I guess at first it seemed like I deserved to be yelled at, but I, but I saw something that he didn't, <laughs> which was he was about to run over a pedestrian. <laughs> and so I kept going because I figure he's going to have to stop for that pedestrian. And he was yelling at me and then it took him like three seconds to realize there was a guy right behind him. He was going to back right, like really fast into the sky. I'm just like, yeah, that was the reason <laughs> that I kept going because I didn't have a pedestrian in my pathway. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. This is the front. I guess I don't really need to even this out if it's not going to be... Oh well. Oh, I've got this red. Too much. Too much. Almost need more book page on here to like a neutral kind of a situation. Oh, that's not good. Do I have anything like that? Got this. Oh no, that looks bad. That looks real bad. I don't have anything to match this. Time to pull out the book page. Scrap. Apple apples. Oh, like this stuff. Ooh, it says answers. You know, I just decided that would go really good in my my text. Thing. Okay. Anyway, what do we need here? We need. What are What are you trying to do? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna figure out the width of this thing. My scissors are in the way. And we're going to tear. Wait, are we going to tear the other way? I don't know how. <laughs> okay, just flip it over backwards. Then it'll work. <laughs> it'll be fine. Yeah, that's much better. With the, with the light color book page. Much, much. Much, much. Might need a little stampage. 
ants on there. I think that's all you need. Okay, and some goop. So that was, and I will tell you what, I was so stressed because when a store, Amy likes, Amy likes to push the cart and I get so stressed by all the people in the store and um, they get really mad. And then I, it, so then I, you know, when, when the cart isn't going in the, in the right direction and then I get really stressed anticipating that people are going to be stressed about the cart. So it was, I was, it was ridiculous. I was like, I was like, I really try not to care about this. <laughs> I'm really trying hard. And it was hard for me. I was like, this is, this is stressful. And I want it like this. All right. We should be able to find something. Ooh, maybe we could go pink this time. And I could even, I could even tear it like at an angle downward the opposite direction <laughs> what am i doing here gotta go but we're not to the edge yet okay i think that will do it and we'll just cut off that other bit don't forget to fold it around the bottom you're gonna need that sort of like very structured uh what do you call that um very structured way to like random scrap like they're all just like torn at an angle i like that though sort of making a taking an art and turning transforming it into like a science you know and then it's like art and science together a beautiful harmonious balance <laughs> yep <laughs> that's how I'm talking today <laughs> okay that looks good 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 what time is it I was a little chatty that took an extra 10 minutes just doing those three bottom things oops a daisy now can we use the red stripey stripe I just think it, it's too much. I love this paper, but it doesn't go with that. I I think I want some other kind of book page. I, I can use this. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. We must then go quickly. I want to see all of that. <laughs> he must then go quickly. Okay. Here we go. Do little one. What is she talking about? She's talking about the little typewritten thing on the bottom of this paper. I'll show you. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. He must then go quickly. Well, this needs a little ink. Thank you, thank you, do. Got it. And here we go. This one does need a little straightening up. We got some straightening enough to do. That's like a song, but sung incorrectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a black black eyed, eyed piece. Black eyed piece. Is that right? Yeah. That's the name of the band. But it's really what's her name? Oh come on. You know her name. I just can't think of it this second. She was married to Dosh Josh. And another name I can't pronounce. This isn't going, the story is going very poorly. Josh Dumahal. Du, Duma, Duhamal. I didn't know how to say it. Now maybe I could use this one. Oh, that's pretty. 
You pretty. Okay. Dun dun dun. Now I gotta get cracking. Crack a lacking. Little tear, please. What kind of a shape are you gonna be today? That kind of shape. And we're gonna ink it because we gotta. We have to. Have to have to. So yeah, I was real, I was real, real stressed. And then, but I did plan a little bit ahead and I told uh, I told Amy, I said, I just can't spend, because Ginny can spend like three hours at the grocery store and that's too much for me. I can't, I can't do that. So anyway, I told her, okay, we'll go along, but we're gonna have to uh, do some errands too. So we'll drop you off for the first part. And then, and then we'll come back. And she's like, oh, okay. And so I told Amy, I said, you know what we're gonna do? She's like, what? I said, we're gonna go get some food. So we're not like, cause a lot of times it'll be like lunchtime and we're still in the grocery store and then we're starving. And I'm, I get hangry. It's not a pretty sight and I need it. I need some food. So <laughs> I was like, we're gonna solve this problem. <laughs> we're gonna get some quick trip sandwiches. <laughs> and uh, Amy's like, I'm on board. <laughs> uh, is that it? Yes. Okay, we did it. We did that first part. Now the second part, the hinge. So, and it's got to be sturdy paper. And it could be decorative paper. Maybe I need, I just needed like some two-sided scraps, you know. Maybe that's what I needed all along. What about this? Does this match any of these? The red is. No, I wanted to use it. The blue, maybe. That's really bright. Let's do it. I wanted to use it. No, I, I'm going to use it. I like this end. So we'll go like that. How, how much do we need? Only about that much. Okay. It's not pretty. I stamped on that solid blue paper and it makes it 20 times better. 20 times. <laughs> did you make up that number? Yes, I did. <laughs> I definitely made that up. Yeah, and I use, I think I use like a white uh, chalk paint on there. I'm just going to have that stick out just a little bit. Just a little smidge, a little peek. I think I add something really nice to that. Yes, it does. Okay. We're never going to see what these look like. Hinge paper. And now we know we'll be able to see that one side. So it needs to be part of the aesthetic. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, we can do something really fun and use one of these really old 1868 ones. Oh, look at all that glue on there. Hmm. Could be like this part or that part. This part. You lose half of it when you do that. But you can't do it. All right, let's find something else. Two-sided paper. Maybe. The problem with the two-sided paper is, one, I didn't uh, pull it out in advance. So now I'm just poking around in here. Two, it's been so long since I started number one that I don't remember what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> wow. This is really thick. Let's use this. Okay, what's going to match? Wow, I totally lost my train of thought. That was embarrassing. But... I don't even know why I'm embarrassed because I can't remember. <laughs> oh, that's a sign of ADHD too. Memory, forgetfulness. Well, I got that going on. Oh, I just dropped my glue in the garbage. This paper pad is too big for my desk. Okay. Just, just, you'll be fine. Just cut the hinge. Okay, fine. 
There we go. I'm going to use this paper for at least two of them. I need something to go with the red stuff. Does any of this go with the red? Maybe that last page we saw. Oh, this would go with the this stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot sturdier. Um, the back. That's like too pink. Is that too pink? It's way too pink. I just go brown, brown. daring. I I don't think I can do it. I need neutral. I need to be neutral. What, am, what, what paper can I cut up in here? Am I ever going to use this stuff? Oh, you know what would be fun? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This might work. Well, first of all, I'll go down this way. I can. Hold on. This is this is what happens to me when I craft. I get a little sidetracked. Okay, that's it. We're out. What we're using for hinges. <sighs> this is what my idea was. I hope I hope it's not too wide. Oh, it is too wide. I need a tall pocket for this. That's a good idea. Does it? Can it be longer than the pocket? Your hinge? Mm, probably not. <laughs> and you're gonna lose too much of it. It's not gonna work. Well, it was a good idea for a second. For about two seconds. Wait, I got some of this paper. This will work for a hinge. This doesn't match. Oh, this is how it's going for me. I just, sometimes I just gotta make a decision. And I can't. Okay, we're gonna try this paper. I'm gonna go this way. And this one. Oh, I like that much better. Now I feel much, much better about that. Okay. Oh, look at the little houses on the inside. <laughs> do I want that? I could do it like this. Yeah, I'm going to put the houses face down. I know, it's sad, but it just has to be done. I have plenty more of them. Okay. Scared me for a second. All right, how far over do we want this to be? That's fine. There, we've got hinges. Yay, hinges. Well, those will match everything. Okay. Now, I had some paper for this. I really liked that. So let's get that going. All of a sudden, I gotta kick it into gear. Oh, that's going to be sad. I have to cover up these little girl dresses. I just don't want that. Oh, bummer. Does this have to be that long? I'll try it a little lesser. A little smaller, some people call it. <laughs> when they use the correct word, that's what they call it. Oh. Come all the way out to the edge. Okay, that's pretty good. I like it. Hinge done. Hinges, hinges, three hinges. Now what? Green. You can go with this too. That's front and back. Uh, okay. 
Oh yeah, that's rent. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can make your hinge flap a little wider. This, I glue on this side. I thought I was doing so good. That always happens where some parts just go really fast and then other parts take longer. And I miscalculated. Yes, I did. Okay, that goes in there. And we're going with the brown again because I think that looks good. Hmm. I don't think we need that much. Maybe this one. Okay. Maybe that much. And this much. Should be the last one. Correct. And I wanted to get this paper. One of these I changed my mind on. I just don't know which one it was. <laughs> I just don't know. Unless I lost it in here, which is entirely possible. At which point, it's pretty much that we don't have time anyway. These are these are like cardstock. This this uh, paper. Oh, I got so much on that side. Okay. Guess what? Guess what? We're to the decorating part. Yay! Finally. Okay. Let's lay them out here. We're gonna we're gonna do them in mass. Pull out our. See if we can find some stuff. They really have to be the tall ones. Um, that looks really good. So I say yes to that one. No to that one. Now this could work out really nicely almost creates its own tab on there it's got like that you know what I did that wrong I, I did I put the hinge on the wrong side look at that I sure as heck did that's okay you, you'll be able to see that right it's fine uh -huh. it's fine don't even worry about it I really like that on there I'm happy with that okay we got that one we got this one now what I don't know. Just don't know. Now the red and the peach is really interesting. But more red on red makes more sense. Yeah, just do that. Oh, look at this book club one. I like the book club one. I like, I like this one. On there a lot. How do I feel about this one? Strange, but I know I feel like uh, I could almost put my whole rainbow one on there. If I did that, does that work with this? I, I don't know why, but I think I need a taller and skinnier one. I don't think I have any that are taller and skinnier than this. That would be impossible. Hmm. Hmm. 
I have to think about that one. Okay, putting these away. I do have more. I sure as heck do. Okay. We want tall and skinnies. Although this one, I need like something like tall and narrow off to the side. And I really want to be able to see those succulents, so. I don't know. These can go uh, like this. Oh, I like that the angle with that. That would be very like Victorian-ish. It's got like a camera. Oh, that's interesting. Now all of a sudden I'm going all frou-frou. You've lost your mind with the frou-frou. What else do we have in here? This one I think needs like a butterfly somewhere. That's It doesn't need more flowers. That's the whole problem. I was trying to put more butterflies on there for the flowers. Um, I really like this. On there just like that I do like that okay I'm gonna glue some things down I think does this go this way looks like it goes sideways is what it looks like But I love it too much not to use it, so it's happening. It's just gonna happen. That one's down. Okay, this one. Going down. yet. I'm not sure. What if I did like this? It's got the camera. It has so much going on. It's ridiculous. Okay, this one I like, so I'm gluing that down. This one I like quite a bit, like right there. So at this point, I think I've decided I'm gonna do the rest of the decorating off camera. So this is the result of our mass make. These were the original two, the one from the sample and one is the example. I don't know what the difference is, but you know. So we'll just go over those and this is the flap bit on the back here is the other one and there's the hinge this one uh, had a little fun i put some piano roll lyrics up there and i do have piano rolls for sale in my etsy shop if you're interested i put the tab down below on this one here's my flip through flip deal there's one this is that had that bright red and i ended up putting this light blue on the side which i just i really like how that complemented it this is the the hinge on this one and the back here's one where i did a couple different layers and was able to add this cute little image of an embroidered butterfly so i just love those and then here's our flap and that's the other side. Here's this one. Instead of doing a tab on the side, I used this postage stamp as my as my faux tab. And there is that one. I just really love this one. I, I really like it. This one, little grungy bits to it. Nice red and blue together. And that's the back. Like that. 
and this one I just decided to go outside the box a little bit and use some different colors and this is what I ended up with so I really uh, like how it turned out all right well I hope this gives you some inspiration to do a bunch of these on your own and as always thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later